of letting me give you a little bit of a scenario of what my life is all about. Law Drifters, Jay Burke, Sandy Sage, California Drifter here with you from Red Rock Canyon State Park. But I'm not here to do an episode on Red Rock Canyon State Park. I actually already did an episode on Red Rock Canyon State Park. Uh, no, I'm just doing an update. Uh, as many of you know, I was camping up in Mammoth Lakes. And uh, over the uh, Labor Day weekend, a uh, very large fire, actually a couple of very large fires started in the Sequoia National Forest uh, just east or sorry just west of Mammoth Lakes southwest of Mammoth Lakes to be uh, more specific um, uh, the Creek Fire and the SQF complex fire um, there was a ton of smoke up in Mammoth Lakes over the last couple of days uh, over the Memorial or sorry Labor Day weekend <laughs> starts with Memorial Day ends with Labor Day over the holiday weekend uh, there was um, just a very dense smoke throughout the entire Mammoth Lakes area very very concerning <coughs> excuse me anyway uh, they uh, as a precaution because these two fires uh, and both fires are are, are very are zero percent contained so both fires are raging out of control unfortunately um, as a precaution they closed down the Inyo National Forest where I was staying on Labor Day at 5 p.m. so uh, today is Tuesday uh, the day after Labor Day uh, I stayed last night in Crowley Lake and then today I uh, I rode a magnificent 35 mile an hour tailwind uh, down from Mammoth Lakes down here to uh, Red Rock Canyon which is just uh, about 30 miles north of uh, the, the city of Mojave and town of Mojave, I don't know, city or town. Anyway, uh, I'm heading to Los Angeles. Uh, I've got a few things planned for where I'm going to be staying uh, when I get down to LA. I'm a little concerned about uh, COVID, but at this point with the wildfires the way they are right now in the Sierras, uh, I'm going to take my chances with COVID rather than the wildfires. So uh, I'm going to heading to LA and I'll show you uh, where I settle in there in a bit. Peace. Mahalo. Drifters, Jay Barrick, Sandy Sage coming at you from El Segundo. Wait, hold on a second. Ah, that's better. All right, so, so the uh, 
a lot of it was make sure there's nobody by before I remove my mask. So hola drifters, Jay Burke, Sandy Sage, California drifter here from El Segundo, California near LAX, uh, here under a marine layer and smoke filled sky. Uh, I was hoping to uh, get out away from the smoke, but I don't know that there's any such place now in California where you're not smelling smoke or seeing smoke in the air. It's uh, just been an awful year for wildfires. Anyway, what a difference a week makes. So at the beginning of this week, uh, Monday on Labor Day, uh, I was happily camping with the deer and the squirrels and the chipmunks and the bears in the uh, Inyo National Forest there in Mammoth Lakes. And uh, at three o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, I had a ranger stop by my campsite and let me know that the, uh, the, they were closing the Inyo National Forest along with uh, four other forests, four or five other forests, uh, as a precaution uh, due to all the wildfires in the area. And so I had to sort of scramble. I spent uh, Monday night in Crowley Lake. The Crowley Lake BLM campground was open. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I drove all the way down to Red Rock and uh, I, I stayed actually Red Rock for a couple of days just because there was some nice weather going on. And then here it is on Friday and I've made it to Los Angeles safe and sound 300 miles later. Um, and like I said, I was hoping that I'd be out of the smoke, but uh, still some smoke here in the area. But definitely uh, I am in a very safe area where in terms of where the fires are at. There's uh, here in Los Angeles, we're okay there. We're just gonna get a lot of smoke. Anyway, I'm glad to be back at the beach, even if it is a month earlier than I was planning. Um, I'm actually going to hit in the ocean here in a bit. It's a little warm. It's about 75 degrees uh, with uh, um, uh, really high humidity. I I've been in the dry uh, mountains all, all summer, and uh, right now my skin is just loving all this moisture, and it's really going to love this salt water behind me. So I'm going to go take a dip. But I wanted to give you an update on all, uh, all the movements here I've made over the last couple of days uh, to let you know where I'm at. Um, and boy, just uh, I, I just pray for all of the uh, firefighters and all the people that are still up in those uh, fire areas. Uh, they've got so much stress and to deal with right now that, uh, man, I just hope the weather cooperates and I hope that they can get these fires under control soon because uh, it's just bad. It's bad. And it's going to be sad to see all this forest burned when I'm driving around next year as well. So anyway, I'm fine. I hope all of you are fine. And uh, I'll check, you, check in soon with a uh, video that I shot up in Buckeye Campground before I left the Inyo National Forest. Peace. Mahalo. So uh, I decided to use some hotel points while I'm here in Los Angeles uh, just to make it real easy to, to find a place to uh, stay here for a few nights, uh, get a hot shower. Oh man, I had a hot shower yesterday after I got back from the beach. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, anyway, so staying here at the Hyatt Place uh, near LAX, it's just uh, uh, kind of funny. This uh, There's a light rail here that goes along Nash Street and uh, they were working on it uh, the whole time I lived here in South Bay. I had to drive around this construction area that all, the, all the time there and uh, now it's done. There's no construction. It's actually quite nice here. Anyway, I was laughing. I've been waiting to uh, film this segment because uh, there was a dad and his two kids um, in a car next door here and the dad was having trouble getting the young boy into the car. He was crying and didn't want to get in the car. Uh, I, heard, I heard him say, uh, if, you get, if you stop crying, and you get in the car we'll go to in and out burger and the kids stop crying like that it was just hilarious so yep back in los angeles uh, using parents using uh, in and out burger as a as a bribe to get their kids to uh, cooperate anyway it worked and uh, yeah there's an in and out burger here on uh, the pch just up the street here and it is packed packed uh, i didn't have my camera with me but there were at least 
30 cars in line but it looked like they had two lanes and it was moving so uh but boy people people are love their in and out burger here in los angeles anyway so uh yeah grateful to be uh out of all that smoke uh most of the smoke there's still some smoke here in los angeles uh but it's getting better it, this is mostly marine layer right now i think it, it it doesn't have that smoky smell that it had when i first got here so uh it's clearing up here in los angeles and uh yeah so just want to get you updated on uh where i was at what's going on um yeah pretty scary thing with all those wildfires so again uh, i pray for uh, the firefighters and all the people that are uh, still uh, very much in harm's way up in northern california and uh, man i hope they can get those fires contained oh here's the light rail <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I, I probably would have used this light rail if uh, it was working when I was here, uh, at least to get a few places. Uh, it's much better than uh, driving in Los Angeles. I hope everybody's doing okay uh, in this crazy, crazy year that we're having. And uh, look forward to getting back with a new episode of California Drifter at you soon. Peace.